Have you ever suffered from headaches, cramps, insomnia, diarrhea, or any other disorder? Have you been prescribed drugs and found them to be just ineffective? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then we have something revolutionary just for you. A drug for everybody that can cure everything. Our drug is so amazing that we decided to call it the greatest drug in the world. It can help with any disorder. And believe it or not, it's equally effective for everybody. That's right, I said it. Maximum strength for everyone. Hello. If you don't recognize me from my recent awards, my name is Dr. Powers, and I'm here to talk to you about what we've recently created, the greatest drug in the world. Never before have we had such unlimited freedom to bring you a formula this complete. We've combined over 100 years of research experience from our formulation teams in Europe, Africa, and Asia to bring you this, the greatest drug in the world. In the process to create this formula, we spared no expense and assembled all resources necessary to bring you the greatest drug in the world. Forget about hours long waits in hospitals and crazy sky high medical bills. Our amazing, the greatest drug in the world's unique formula will cure everything in just one dose. It's a beautiful world, but I didn't always feel that way. I used to hate everything and everyone, including myself. Then somebody told me about the greatest drug in the world, and now I'm happy as a clam. You know what's funny? Before I took the greatest drug in the world, I was pretty weak, I was a small guy, getting stuffed into lockers, but now I'm one of the biggest guys on the street. Call right now at 1-800-CURE-ALL. That's 1-800-C-U-R-E-A-L-L. If you call within the next 15 minutes, you'll receive our free family pack to you at no extra charge. Hey, look at me. I use it. My wife uses it. Even our kids use it. Call now. It would have been nice if this was true. We are all different. There are over six billion of us in this world. Although we are 99.5% genetically the same, the 0.5% small changes to our DNA lead to our differences. And the same drug will not work on everybody equally. The reality is that only 40% of users benefit from the drug. Many do not respond at all. And worse, a great number of individuals have major adverse reactions. Today, scientists by looking at your genes could let you know how you would respond to a drug. This is called personalized medicine. So let's see how many people around the world actually know about it. Hi. Can I can I ask you a question? Yes. Yeah. Wh what do you think about personalized medicine? Which medicine? Personalized. Personalized. Which medicine? It's personalized medicine. You don't know? I think personalized medicine is like a kind of homeopathic medicine, alternative medicine, rather than going to the pharmacy to buy something from the GlaxoSmithKline Beach or something. It's an alternative herbal medicine. Personal medicine, what is it? Put something if you feel happy. Personalized. Something that's deeply personal is for the same person that it's written for, I don't know. Not for everybody. Do you know what personalized medicine is? You don't. Okay, thank you. Um, I actually don't really know what it is. But it sounds like, uh, I don't know, a medical team? 
follows through your physiological state and like uh, in a very personalized way, personalized way. I don't know, it's something I'm in, but that's what I think. This is the beginning of the paradigm of personalized medicine where you can screen the patient and say, okay, you, you will respond to this drug well, you won't, and therefore we should apply only the drug to the people that, that respond. So some knowledge from the genetics of the disease, from the genetics of the individual as to which cocktail should be put together to address the tumor uh, will ultimately lead to the better outcome on the, you know, for the patients. Another benefit, of course, is uh, ultimately a decrease uh, in uh, medical costs. It, it, it doesn't, we're wasting a lot of money right now, presumably, uh, prescribing drugs to individuals that don't respond. And saving that money and prescribing only uh, effective treatment, shortening hospital stays, uh, should be a, a net benefit as well. Today we have technology available to sequence a human genome. Right? I mean, a few years ago that would have cost $300 million. Now it costs about $5,000. It's still expensive. Right. Uh, we're still not at the level where every individual walk into the doctor's office and have their genome sequenced for future personalized medicine applications. These machines right now are producing 10 times more sequence every year as a successor products come out. Uh, and it is getting to the stage where now if you pool patient samples, you can start to get genetic information very, very cheap. Yeah, there's clearly... Um, an ethical issue around having your genome information available publicly. Um, and there's a couple of ways potentially around that. One is to not sequence entire genomes, but only sequence mutations that are relevant to drug response and relevant to disease. So there's a legal and regulatory side, which is as genetic information becomes uh, available to doctors, there needs to be obviously privacy um, associated with it. And, uh, and you know, laws put in place to make sure it's not used in the wrong way. I think this, the safest way around that would be to, to really only target the sections of the genome that are relevant for the you know, specific medical treatment and not collect information that may, may you know, um, not be something that you want uh, disseminated publicly or available. really what, what's the future of personalized medicine hinging on, right? I mean, I think we've talked a little bit about technology and cost. Obviously, uh, medical costs are already exceptionally high, so that we have to bring those down. We have to bring the cost of the uh, personalized medicine testing down to, to where it can be prescribed, right, with, uh, in a sensible way uh, without bankrupting the country. The biggest issue right now is probably not, not just that cost, but actually finding all the associations between genetics of the individual, genetics of the disease, and the drug response. So finding those links, I think, is, is one of the big challenges going forward. We have a little bit of that now, but it's really the tip of the iceberg, and a lot more of that needs to be developed. So it's not quite at the you know, one drug per person level, but it will be more about a set of drugs being developed. Um, and uh, doctors having a choice about which drugs they apply to which individuals. We need the right drug for the right patient at the right time. One size does not fit all.